Hi everyone, today I have a new clip on regular force submitted or force positionated. And force positionated happens to be one of the method that is used to find a, a root of nonlinear equations and a numerical method. So now let's dive into how to write a simple MATLAB function that can help us to find a root as far as first position method is concerned. First of all, we declare our function, and this is our function name that's first post. You have to choose a function name that is not going to, assuming there is a function that is already written in MATLAB for regular first time method, you need to choose a function name that is not going to conflict with, with the already existing function name. So with this, our, our first post is a function name. This is our argument that we want to write, we want to, we want to supply, that's what, a, which is our initial value guess, our B is the final value guess that's within the interval A and B. And our F is the function under consideration. So when we want to use a while loop to, in order to do the iteration. So first of all, we set our N to be equal to 1. We find the functional value of A times the functional value of B. If the root, if the, if the value is going to, is, if the function, if the product of it give us 0, give us negative, if, if it gives us negative, it tells us that our root exists within this interval. Within this interval. It, it exists between A and B. So when this condition fails, that's why we have the else statement here. When this condition fails, then you tell the person that root cannot exist between this interval. Because one principle, one technique that we need to take notice under the regular force and the bisection method is the bracketing method. It has to have initial value and a final value. So if both, if the functional value of these two are being multiplied and it's less than zero, then it tells us that our root exists within the interval. Else, the root does not what exist within the interval. So from here, we then go ahead and then start with our while loop. Is it? while loop so we said our n so from the first check our n is equal to what our n is equal to what one so and one is less than what zero one is less than what eleven so we then since that condition is true then we go then go ahead and then compute our c of which c can be computed as what a times the functional value of b minus b times the functional value of a all divided by the functional value of b minus the functional value of what a we then go ahead and then perform a check with the c that value that we have seen so we say okay let is our c equal or not equal to zero if our c is happens to be any other value other than zero then we should come ahead here and do everything within here from here if this condition, if our C is equal to zero, then it tells us the C value is the actual solution that we are looking for. That's what display root num to string value. And so when you come coming back to line seven, we are saying that okay, if this condition is is true, if this condition is true, that about that functional value of C is not equal to zero, then you come here. And then what? Compute something again. Like find the functional value of a. That's that is the functional value of c. If this one is also less than zero, then it tells us that our root exists between what our between what a and our and the c that we have found. So meaning the original b is not needed again. So we have to do the substitution or replacement. We replace our c to be equal to b. When this condition fails, then it tells us that our root exists between what b and c so the original a is not needed again so we have to do a replacement by replacing our a by c then we end so after this condition is after this after we are done with this very uh, first loop we then go ahead and increase the counter so that's what is coming uh, is doing we increase our n by what one it goes here and go and check is our n equal to what Less than less less than eleven, yes, our n is two, which is less than eleven. Then it continues the process until we get to what our eleventh word iteration, which until we get to our eleventh iteration. 
then at the end of it all it's going to display the output that it has found that will display root which is num to string let's look at the practical example and see so first of all we set our a to be equal to let's say two our b to be equal to three and our f i already have the f here so we just enter our f we call the function that's what false post b and then our f this is how to write an anonymous function for f then we just enter we can give us our root is equal to 2.224 let's check another instance where our our root does not lie within the interval so let's say our c is equal to instead of using a and b you can still use a different value we have our c to be equal to 4 suppress okay then we'll call our function again using the same function we has what false pose we have our c d and f so it then tells us our root does not lie within the interval so meaning the person have to now look for uh, two points under which what the root will exist then to do the iteration so this this is how to write a simple function for regular force submitted from here we'll be looking at how to, as you know we are given the tolerance how can we also go about it thank you for watching if this video has really of help to you don't forget to hit the like button the like button the bell button subscribe and leave your comment down below thank you